popscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of beer from Siren Craft Brew in Fincham Stead, Berkshire. It's a bottle of their $10 shake. This was originally brewed as part of the Brewdog Colab Festival 2016 in collaboration with Brewdog Shepherd's Bush. It is a fruit smoothie IPA, 6.6% MVP. Brewed using lactose, passion fruit, mango, and papaya. Had this during Colab Fest, was absolutely blown away by it. So happy to see this. Get a, a, a bottling run. I think they brewed it again since as well. So, hope you get to try it because it blew me away. Is it bottle conditioned? It is a little bit. I'll have a look. That'll do. Not too much. You want those chunky bits in there. But as you can see, haze for days, really, really hazy, pale orange golden beer, pure white foam on the top. So, give it a swirl and a sniff. Check out the aroma. Oh, beautiful. For me, the mango is very prominent. I think I get pineapple and lime zest. This is a sharpness to it, like a zippy, citric note. Yeah, loads of fleshy grapefruit. Yeah, getting that softness of the pineapple, uh, sorry, the papaya and, and passion fruit. It smells absolutely incredible. It's got a real soft, multi note as well. Which is probably coming from the lactose. So me and non-malty is small, soft kind of ice cream wafer note. It smells beautiful. I mean, it's got a, f a slight floral edge. Oh. Let's dive in. Cheers. I've uh, I've tasted one beer from, from Trillium, and this is so damn close to those beers that we're getting. Um, what that be produced in the north northeast of America. Nice, soft, smooth body. Not, it's not big and chewy like some of those are. It's really soft and sweet. Hints of bitterness, which are, are coming from kind of like citrus peel. Nice bit, just kind of wafting around there. Like lemon peel and lime lime zest. But it's absolutely stu stunning. I've got to say, soft, sweet. Pale stone fruit, loads of papaya, loads of mango, sweetened orange, sweetened um, pineapple juice. A real lovely softness coming from that lactose. And a little bit of kind of like a kick of citric bitterness there. I mean, I've got to say this, as far as English brewed beers, this is as close as we get to the that kind of like stuff what's happening in the northeast of the United States of America. Okay, this has a load of fruit thrown in it. And they do it with hops alone, which is an incredible feat. But if you want to have that, a hint of that experience, what those people in America are raving about, Tindall Shake from Siren is probably the closest thing I've had. Absolutely top draw. There is a big hop note in there as well. It's in, it, I just got it then. It's got... It's got it's quite a potent, pungent hop kick. They're like a fresh kind of bag of pellets that you've just ripped open. So it's not just about the fruit, the hops, the put a stupid amount of hops in this as well. It just accentuates all those tropical fruit flavours that they're going for. I think for me, it's not a fruit beer. It just it just accentuates everything that you're hoping to get from the hops. And they're just amplifying it. Obviously, at this time of year, I'm recording this in um, uh, the start of November 2016, and you've probably not got the freshest hops in the world, in the UK. So it's a clever decision for those fruit note, fruit uh, additions to just lift it all. But I've got to say, this, as I said, it's the closest thing you're going to get to that New, uh, new, um, that new England Northeast style. IPA, and that's absolutely stunning, beautiful stuff. $10 shake from Seincraft Brew, 6.6% ABV. IPA with lactose, passion fruit, papaya, and mango. Really, really top rate. One of the best IPAs I've had all year. Stunning. I'm Rob from Popsy.com, and I will see you next time. Cheers.